Welcome to a shocking new episode of the Demonic Compendium, the show where I discuss the mythology, design, and game history of your favorite Megami Tensei demons. With the spring season here and my garden ready to be planted, I always appreciate a good storm. But where does this rain come from? Well, look to the skies and listen for that booming sound, because today, we're talking about Thunderbird. Thunderbird is a common term for powerful creatures that were revered in many Native American cultures throughout the land we now know as the United States and Canada. Many different tribes had verbal legends of the Thunderbird, including the Algonquin, the Iroquois, and the Sioux, among others. Many different tribes had different names for the Thunderbird, such as Wakinyan, Kuungswa, and Anamiki, again, among others. While mythological beings associated with lightning and storms were often singular figures who were known to wield incredible power like Zeus, Thor, Susano'o, or Indra, Thunderbirds filled a similar role in Native American cultures. Most tales describe them as gigantic birds that lived up in the clouds. They could shoot lightning from their eyes, and the sound of their wings flapping is what created thunder. They had the power to control the rain, which could be welcome in times of droughts to help with crops, or cataclysmic in others, and thunderbirds were said to be so large they could pick up a whale with their talons. Some tales describe the thunderbirds as protective spirits, while others see them more as a force of nature that's neither good nor bad and some view the Thunderbirds as genuine animals just doing what comes naturally to them, albeit with a lot more power. Regardless of the tribe or place of worship, the Thunderbird is a renowned figure in many Native American tales and is a common sight on tapestries, jewelry, totem poles, and other iconic pieces. A powerful electric bird that delivers rainstorms and lightning commands a lot of respect. Which is why this may not be a good time to bring up that the Thunderbird was clearly the inspiration for the Pokemon Zapdos, or that you can also buy Thunderbird wine. Thunderbird's compendium entry from Persona 5 Tactica refers to it as a revered bird of Native American mythology said to live atop cloud-shrouded peaks, resembles an eagle, its wing beats create thunderclaps, and some legends say its eyes can unleash lightning. Design-wise, Thunderbird certainly has a unique design that stands out from a lot of the other Kaneko bird demons, a subject that he himself has admitted he often struggled with. Thunderbird seems to draw from quite a few different sources, most notably Native American depictions of the bird. Many pieces display the Thunderbird in a spread eagle position with its wings outstretched and its head facing forward or off to one side. Kaneko captured this pose pretty nicely, and the electricity around its body fits into its mythology. But why does a bird based on Native American folklore look so sleek, chrome, and metallic? Well, supposedly, Kaneko based some aspects of this bird on Shikansen, Japanese bullet trains, but I think a much larger inspiration is from The Thunderbirds, a 1960s British animated puppet show famous for its spaceship designs and use of practical effects. The series was incredibly popular and garnered a lot of respect and attention in Japan, with it even getting a loosely inspired anime known as Thunderbirds 2086 in English. There was even a 2010s reboot that only ended a few years ago in 2020. So once you take into consideration that there's a long-running sci-fi series about flying ships called Thunderbirds, it's not hard to see why Kaneko modeled his Thunderbird to be much more mechanical and spaceship-like. Thunderbird also has a Demikids design where it's known as Bolt Bird that does look more like an electric bird and doesn't at all make me think this is what you'd get if someone tried to draw Zapdos from memory. Oh, and I would be remiss if I didn't mention Kaneko's concept art for Thunderbird, which was just a... Moai Tiki battery head thing with a hilarious look on its face. I'm pretty sure even Kaneko didn't know what he was thinking with this one. As far as game history goes, Thunderbird admittedly doesn't have many distinct roles in the franchise, but much like a sudden rainstorm, does have a habit of showing up where you may not have expected to see it. The demon first appeared in Devil Summoner Soul Hackers and could be transformed into the Raijin Sword to deal electrical damage. In many French and Italian versions of Megaton games, Thunderbird uses its Lakota name, Wakinyan, instead of what we normally call it. After that, the bird showed up in a few of the handheld titles, like Strange Journey and the SMT4 duology, but it never really did all that much. But then, seemingly out of nowhere, Thunderbird received its first 3D model in not Persona 5, but Persona 5 Royal, as a member of the Sun Arcana, where its shadow self was known as the Storm-Invoking Ptarmigan. 
which is a bit strange because ptarmigans are usually small, kind of fat little birds, and I think thunderbirds are usually thought to be a powerful bird of prey, or at least like a big carrion bird. You know what? It hasn't been that long since the horse video. You don't all need to hear me talk about birds again. Let's just move on. Thunderbird returned in 3D in Shin Megami Tensei 5, where it plays a big role in the subquest Birds of a Feather. After talking to a Ketchi in the fairy village, the quest will be available from a Kopa Tengu who believes that getting a feather from Thunderbird will help it rise through the Tengu ranks. And instead of doing it himself, why not just make us do it? The Nahobino can see Thunderbird flying around the container yard and must climb to a high enough area to attack the demon and take it down in a boss fight to complete the quest. Naturally, I assume it will keep this role in the upcoming Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance in the Canon of Creation path, but the Canon of Vengeance path may have some surprising new things in store for this giant bird. Thunderbird also appears in Soul Hackers 2 and is the demon partner of one of the nameless summoners fought in the 24th Ward Municipal Tower towards the end of the game. And remember last month when I talked about how Impuso was replaced with a different persona in Persona 3 Reload? Well, this time I'm talking about a persona who does the replacing, as Thunderbird appears in the Persona 3 make as a member of the Sun Arcana yet again, where it replaces a different bird figure, Sparna. So now Makoto can use this persona, and so will Aegis, thanks to the recently announced Episode Aegis The Answer DLC. Well, recently announced when I wrote this, it's been over a month for you all out there. Heck, maybe even more. Maybe the DLC is already out when you're watching this. And there you have it, Thunderbird, the shocking, squawking, sacred spirit songbird of the Sioux, and several other tribes. Did I leave out something you thought was important? Was I just plain wrong about something? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to let me know who you'd like to see me talk about in future episodes. That's going to do it for this episode of the Demonic Compendium, and I will see you next time. But be careful while you rest that a demon doesn't take over your body.